first Muhammad Shah with you. Um, our uh, subject today it's um, it's about uh, single cylinder reciprocating gas compressor. Uh, first of all, you have to uh, assign your uh, uh, folder. Of after download, you have to copy your uh, model to working folder, and you have to go from here. Okay, and. Uh, Let's go from here, drive, specify your folder, okay, and single cylinder gas compressor, okay. I, I, I will work on uh, uh, version 2, okay. So, okay, double clicking, okay, okay. Your model should be appear like this, okay. Uh, now, uh, uh, single cylinder uh, reciprocating gas compressor. It's an interesting model. Um, we are not going to uh, talk about uh, reciprocating gas compressor, but what is usually known about um, uh, these devices or units is that it's, um, it can deliver high pressure with low um, rate of uh, flow rates or, or volumes. And so it, it can deliver uh, uh, minimum uh, low rates of discharge, but with high rate of uh, of working pressure. Uh, we have we have to uh, to discover some aspects related to design of uh, reciprocating gas compressors. We have to discover what is our sort of volume, uh, what is our maximum volume, uh, clearance volume. This is with clearance, okay, uh, okay. Let's go and specify your, you have to click on model browser, assign all of these parameters, okay? And set your simulation time into zero. And double clicking on, on your main block and you will see, uh, discover uh, uh, your inputs. Okay, for our inputs, we have to assign uh, uh, intake temperature. What is your intake temperature? Intake pressure, okay. And pressure and temperature only to uh, usually the ambient, okay. And uh, we have to assign our desired pressure. What is your end compression uh, stroke pressure, okay? Uh, what is uh, the pressure that um, uh, this device is going to deliver? and atmospheric as a reference atmospheric temperature and atmospheric pressure as a reference okay and what is completely uh, or absolutely interesting in this model is that you have you can discover uh, or working on 12 different 12 uh, working gases uh, diatomic gases such as air uh, helium uh, uh, I'm sorry, diatomic gases such as helium, argon, neon, krypton, xenon, and diatomic, uh, monatomic, and diatomic. This is uh, diatomic, and we have here monatomics. Okay, diatomics such as air, hydrogen, uh, uh, nitrogen, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide that's uh, polyatomic gases with ammonia, uh, methane, ethylene, okay. So our example today it's it's about uh, air diatomic gas uh, as usual it's uh, air compressor. You have to assign some design elements such as uh, what is your piston uh, diameter, what is your stroke uh, length, okay, and your running speed, of, uh, volumetric efficiency usually in the range of uh, eighty percent. And category of 80%, 85, 88, 89, something like this. And um, a mechanical shaft efficiency, okay. Um, suppose it's uh, 95, okay. Okay. So we prepared our uh, our model. Let's go inside and uh, see. You have to save your model, okay. Okay. Uh, you can choose all, um, between uh, single acting or uh, double acting if it is um, closed it is it this switches off so it's um, uh, single acting okay okay this is single acting okay 
and let's run our model and see uh, for single acting our results so this is your uh, schematic diagram of your cycle on PV diagram okay okay red um, red signal means it's a single acting uh, based on our uh, specifications uh, we mentioned before that uh, your maximum volume should be uh, in this value okay being point all three and um, this is indestructible temperature okay this is your indestructible temperature okay this is maximum temperature end of compression stroke temperature this is your temperature and we have uh, end compression stroke volume actually uh, we have uh, four points one two three four we have the results of four points you will find uh, volume one two three four and even clearance volume you will find um, start expansion stroke pressure and um, expansion stroke pressure is five is your maximum uh, pressure uh, start expansion stroke volume in the uh, stroke volume and we have uh, free air I'm sorry this is air free air uh, delivery volume uh, cubic meter uh, uh, per minute a swept volume uh, clearance volume okay clearance lens and uh, what is your gas flow rate a uh, compressor power uh, a brake power uh, thermal losses uh, cylinder to the cross-sectional area clearance uh, ratio and thermal efficiency okay okay so this is the main uh, design aspect that anyone would like to discover b um, because it's a uh, uh, gas compressor so you can attach this unit uh, with condenser units with uh, air refrigeration cycle with with vapor compression cycle you can attach this unit you can copy and pass this unit at all and attach it okay um let's go dynamically okay set your simulation time into infinity and you have to check all of your signals be sure this, that this is small square uh, appear here okay click here and send signal to a data inspector this is your data inspector we are going to discover our results but before we have to double clicking here and prepare our input menu because we will we intended to control our result from here okay and i intended to control double acting or single acting as well okay and uh, i prepared everything we can watch uh, the variation on uh, as a maximum volume for the l delivery what is your gas flow rate you can realize the variation based on changing your pressure and so on let's saving let's save and hit run and see if we increased for example uh, just to click on this uh, slider or wheel and you can move uh, right by using your keyboard arrows right or left I am increasing the pressure increasing the pressure as you can see here uh, this is your end compression stroke pressure so you realize that uh, there is an increase in uh, in compressor power okay let's increase there is some kind of change in your uh, volume okay as you can see here uh, let's increase the pressure up to uh, 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 upper values okay okay let's increase let's change our uh, acting okay so you realize that it's double acting now and the power is increased because uh, this is acting double acting delivery as you can see here i'm trying to increase the pressure okay and suppose i am going to uh, increase the stroke lens stroke lens will increase the power also okay let's go for uh, 40 uh, 40 centimeter 45 centimeter okay 45 centimeter 
and the volumetric efficiency. Uh, let's increase the volumetric efficiency up to uh, running speed. Suppose it's running at uh, 180 and let's go for let's decrease the pressure again and decreasing the pressure so you can realize the effect on uh, the, the pressure the design aspects uh, on your results and we are going to uh, draw some figures okay decreasing the pressure down to five okay uh, let's go return back again for single acting okay this is single acting so the pressure is dropped okay stop enough okay uh, if you go to MATLAB workspace you realize your results here this is your final result so you can discover your final results what is your mass flow rate what is your uh, volume okay i do prefer to go through uh, uh data inspector okay let's go here and trying to discover more results well we can compare runs also this is our second what is your maximum volume okay uh, and the compressor stroke temperature variation and uh, gas flow rates this is your gas flow rates compressor power variable of variation of the brake power we can put brake power on the same curve both are in kilowatts okay the division because there's a division because of um, uh, mechanical efficiency thermal losses to the ambient uh, cylindrical cross section area would change this free air delivery uh, and volume you can compare volume and stroke volume okay and okay and um, in expansion stroke volume also okay variation of the volume clearance clearance ratio okay and uh, here we have thermal efficiency i'm not sure about yes thermal efficiency the start expansion stroke pressure okay this is pressure we change this and um, uh, stroke volume okay v3 uh, and uh, expansion stroke pressure swept volume let's go for swept volume and clearance volume this is our clearance volume okay and uh, clearance uh, length so you can uh, easily uh, deal with uh, uh, such unit by the use of uh, data inspector and um, um, you can send these figures send the figure or copy your figures you can make another run and compare runs on the same figures because it's a data inspector it's quite interesting and easy to handle okay and you can add uh, um, add data courses you can show you can show two courses uh, one was a, one is enough because it's one one run and you can move your data in order to um, discover the values on the curves okay okay finally um, i would like to thank you very much for your interest in uh, in our model it's uh, quite quite simple straightforward it's about uh, reciprocating gas compressor uh, i hope that you can uh, enjoy our video don't forget to like share and uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much